everyone and welcome back to the final stages of this All Out War number 2. This will be stages 5 to 8 and we're starting off with the zombies again. So once again we've got this Kenny led team surrounded by a few toughs and a couple of alerts in there. So we've got Aaron and Eric the two blues and then we've got Rick and Connor the two reds. And then we have a strong ally which is pretty not really um benefiting any much from his leader skill just purely sort of using my team set up with the crit and also connor's rush of the plus 35 to get through this now i'm like i said in the previous video i'm not 100 percent sure whether they will continue with zombies through this stage or actually change it to people in the later stages we will see when those stages seven and eight get a bit closer to whether they change it or not um the benefits if they don't change it and they keep with the zombies throughout is that it allows people that don't have a very high team grade or a very strong people team to possibly get this four star sherry just purely because most people have a fairly good zombie team and zombies are a lot easier to deal with than people they don't shoot back and you can adapt a fairly good team and a good amount of crit regardless of if you have five stars and things like that so hopefully it will remain the zombies but i've got a sneaky suspicion they may change it to people they usually do in the later stages change it to people to make it that bit harder but hopefully for those guys that don't have a very strong high grade team for people and have a good mixture within their roster it is those zombies because it gives you a fairly good chance if you have a half decent zombie team i know it is an s1 recommended team rating but you can get through this stages a lot easier if it is zombies if you have those crit leader skills also crit weapons and also crit battle items so you have the nit nitric oxide or the sharpshooters to help boost your crit and the blooded shirts to help you out there so hopefully it does stay zombies so that you're able to take advantage of that and have the best a pretty good chance at winning sherry i know if it does throw up the people that it will chuck a lot of people out of contention for that sherry just purely because they don't have the team grade or the strength within their team to get through those people stages but hopefully yeah it sticks with zombies here's to fingers crossed it stays with zombies for everyone out there that really wants that sherry but at the moment these guys are doing absolutely great they're just smashing their ways through these headshots and flying through these stages making it look quite simple which is always nice to see especially in these later stages of high recommended team advance with the s1 team here now stage seven this will be the telling sign of whether it they're going to change it to people or they're going to stick with zombies so fingers well hello friend <laughs> there's shiva and it is zombies so there is my sheaves I, of course if you don't already know i do have a shiva so I've just got me little friendly tiger back up there. Which I guess for you guys that aren't lucky enough to actually have a Shiva, that is great. It's always nice to use her as an ally. Like, I get to use her daily or whenever I want. But it's always good. I remember before she was released when I got to use her in Stage 21. It was absolutely amazing watching that more and be able to have her as an ally there. So for those people that don't have one, that... I guess that is great news. You get to have a little play with Shiva there. She is an absolutely brutal player and a great little character to have in your roster. She has that big massive 800% damage just like an Andrea but it's, nothing is more epic than her more. Watching that more is amazing. She actually jumps up on the zombies and it's nothing compares to that. You can have a character like i said like an andrew with that 800 percent also but just nothing compares to that little more and also the poor smash and i just love shiva if you can't already tell so hopefully you guys have some fun with her i always like when she comes in as an ally so that's great to actually see her in there again as an ally i haven't seen her since stage 21 with the dc schoolyard and i've finished that 
a fair few months ago so it's great to actually see her back in action and I guess it's good to be able to have a little play with her again I typically oh yes there we are they did they actually did you a favor here and so you got zombie stage that's the good news guys is that you not only do you get to use Shiva for these last two stages but you also have zombie stages so they're sort of doing you a favor there and giving you a good chance of that sherry by not giving you people so as long as you can build a fairly good zombie team and get that crit count as high as possible you're in with a good chance like i say it's a lot easier to deal with zombies in these later stages than it is people i've always preferred the zombies uh being that it's one of those things where it, it's not all about the amount of team grain you have and the healers and all those different rushes it's more about the amount of crit you can actually get and like I said team grade is irrelevant so this is a great advantage to those that don't have a very high team grade if you're able to get a fair amount of crit you're in with a good chance because you can also get some battle items I've not used any battle items which I wouldn't expect I should have to with this team but if you're able to then take advantage of those battle items as well so you got like the blooded shirts and also the nitric oxide or sharpshooters depending on, on what team setup you have then it's gonna boost your your crit but also your chances at actually completing this stage so hopefully that works out well for most people the fact that they've kept it at zombies and not thrown in the people on these last two stages now we did win our sh whoa, whoa no okay we lost shiva that's no good so here is the alert four star sherry here she has a 350 damage to one enemy and then all teammates get a plus 30 percent attack for two turns and recover from attack and defense penalties now she has that 56 ap recharge rate which is fast so it's similar to a josh and also an andrea at that pace and her leader skill is basically like Carl's, but missing the plus 20% attack. So all in all, she's not a bad player to have. Thanks for watching.